Hit that corner. Hit that corner. PS2 is known as the best DVD player. It can play DVD games and DVD movies. Uh, this is the first DVD movie I ever watched as a kid. But did you guys know that PS2 can also play compact disc games? CD based games and I'm not even kidding and nobody's talking about all of that. You see if the file size is just under 700 megabytes, you need compact disc. But if the file size is like 1000, 2000, 4000 megabytes, you need DVDs or digital video disc. Nowadays, of course, DVD is dead because Blu-ray can hold more data, but CDs were quite popular. Mega CD used it, PC Engine used it, Sega Saturn used it, PlayStation 1 used it because it was such a revolutionary technology back in the day. Also, did you guys know that CDs can produce way better sound encoding for that lossless waves? Whereas vinyl lose some higher frequencies its conversion. That means CDs can deliver more clear, loud and perfect frequency for audio. No wonder why games sounded way better in PS1. Anyway, let's take a look at this 10 CD-based PS2 games that everybody should play and they are quite super awesome. But these CD-based games were quite known for its budget-friendly video game titles for PS2. Anyway, let's take a look at them but before doing that, do not forget to subscribe cause man the inflation is rising. We gotta feed our kids right? So come on man, don't forget to do that. Alright, let's get started. Bomberman Land 3 released on PS2 mark a swift for classic series with a jump to the 3D. It offers classic Bomberman Land experience. You navigate a theme park, conquering mini games to collect zones, pieces, and progress. This core gameplay remains fun, but 3D transition might not be for everyone. If you create the classic Bomberman Blast with the fresh coat of 3D paint, Bomberman Land 3 is a worth to take a look. However, some might find the 3D environments less charming than the 2D ones for the previous entries, but luckily the focus on fun mini games and chaotic bombing action remains. I personally had a good time with this game though. This might look like a quite PS1 type of looking game and I can see why people don't like this game but I had a quite a lot of fun. I mean it would be quite tough to put all of these polygons into just 700 megabyte CD based media and not utilizing the DVDs. The game has its own charm, it delivers classic Crash Bandicoot experience with familiar side scrolling chases, wumpers to collect and tricky jumps. Fans will appreciate the return of Coco and addition to Crunch, a new playable character with the elemental powers. The soundtrack is also a highlight offering energetic tunes that fit the lightheaded atmosphere. The game feels awesome, it plays awesome, not too much complex bullcrap or things like that. I mean what else do you need in a game anyway? I was quite enjoying what this game is actually has to offer. Dragon Sisters for PlayStation 2 is a budget beat-em-up with some fun to be found. But it comes up with the territory of the limitations. You control the one of the two Dragon Sisters who battle through the hordes of generic enemies. The combat is simple button smashing with the punches, kicks and special attacks. While it gets repetitive, it can be very satisfying to pull off the combos and clear out the waves of foes. I played this game for the first time and actually end up liking it. Sure this game falls under that simple 2000 series. Basically a budget lineup for the PlayStation 2. I mean come on, if we can play Battletoads which is way below than the budget category, this game is way far superior to that, assuming you might have played this game in the past. This game quite feels good with the combat system it offers. Released in 2001, Half-Life on the PlayStation 2 brought a groundbreaking PC experience to the consoles. While a few years behind its original release, PS2 port impressed with its graphical overhaul, textures, character models and environments all received a significant upgrade, making it a visually stunning title for the PlayStation 2. Despite the technical marvel, some compromises were made. The frame rates dipped at sometimes a trade-off to the enhanced visuals. This version included the innovative DK co-op expansion. This unique mode offered a separate storyline followed by the two scientists trapped in the Black Mesa. 
teamwork was crucial to solve puzzles and survive enemy encounters. While the competitive multiplayer wasn't a highlight, the single-player campaign and DK co-op provided a compelling and atmospheric sci-fi shooter experience. If you have not played the Half-Life before on PC, then this version will be perfect for you. Surprised to see that they put everything in just a combat disc. Eighteen wheeler American Pro Trucker throws you behind the wheel of the big rig for the surprisingly in depth trucking experience on the PlayStation 2. Buckle up for a long haul across the meticulously detailed American landscapes, from busting highways to scenic countrysides. The variety of cargo you haul keeps things everything interesting. For lumbers and cars to more fragile goods that demand careful handling. While the gameplay revolves around deliveries, it doesn't skim to the intricacies of operating a giant 18-wheeler. You will manage gear changes, maintain speed limits, and navigate tight corners, all while keeping an eye on the factors like fuel consumption and road conditions. The physics feel surprisingly realistic, making conquering a steep incline or avoiding oncoming traffic generally rewarding. Overall, this game is surprisingly polished and engaging trucking simulator for the PlayStation 2. <laughs> Looney Tunes Space Race blast onto the PS2 with a winning combination of classic cartoon charm and fracting racing fun. The cell shade visuals are delight, bringing your favorite characters like Bugs Bunny, Wild Coyote, Taz to life in a vibrant cartoon world. Track zoom to the wacky locations like outer space and Acme Acres, each bursting with colorful details and references to the Looney Tunes universe. The single player mode offers a decent challenge with unlockable tracks and characters keeps you motivated. However, the real fun lies in a multiplayer. Up to the four players can join the race, turning friendly competition into the side-splitting mem. Looney Tunes Space Race might not be the deepest kart racer, but it's a guaranteed good time for the fans of all ages, offering a hilarious and accessible racing experience. A blast from the past with a fresh coat of paint, Adventure Island, also known as Hudson's Selection Volume 4, Takahashi Menjin no Bukem Jina in Japan. This game is a delightful remake of the NES classic. You take control of Master Haggins, a treasure hunter on the quest to save his girlfriend Tina from the clutches of an evil witch doctor. The core gameplay remains a true to its roots, navigate 29 challenging levels filled with perilous platforming, collecting fruits to replenish your health meter as if we'd never gonna get diabetes, and dodge a variety of the enemies. This PlayStation 2 version lovingly revamps the experience. The charming pixel art gets a crisp update. While the music remains catchy and upbeat, difficulty notorious in the original, finds a sweet spot in here. You will still face a challenging jumps and strategic enemy encounters, but helpful features like section restarts after death ease the frustration. For the veterans, the familiar stages and enemies offer a nostalgic trip down memory lane. Newcomers can appreciate the tight controls, responsiveness gameplay, and timeless fun of the classic side scroller. Whether you are revisiting a childhood favorite or experiencing it for the first time, Adventure Island on the PlayStation 2 offers a rewarding adventure with a perfect blend of retro charm and modern polish. Iridium Runner on PlayStation 2 is a budget title with a unique twist. It's a futuristic racing game, but on the foot. While the premise sounds interesting, reviews are mixed. On the positive side, the game offers a decent amount of content for the price. There are 24 tracks, 20 runners to choose from, the various race modes like cups and championships. The gameplay itself is considered solid by some reviewers, with the good mechanics of surprising amount of depth. Multiplayer mode up to 4 players adds a fun factor. Iridium Runners delivers a surprisingly deep and entertaining racing experience with its unique concept, solid gameplay mechanics, and a wealth of content. It's a must-play for PS2 owners looking for something different from this typical futuristic racer.
Gunbird 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 2 brings a double dose of classic arcade shoot 'em up action to your living room. Blast your way through vibrant stages with five unique characters, each with their own playstyle and weapon patterns. Experience the light-hearted story unfolds in its branching narratives depending on your chosen hero. This compilation shines with its arcade-perfect presentation. Relieve the nostalgia of pixelated graphics and pulse-pounding soundtracks, or adjust the view to fit your widescreen display. With eight difficulty settings and a practice mode, Gunbird 1 and 2 caters to shmup veterans and newcomers. Whether you crave a breezy shoot 'em up experience or a bullet hell dodging experience, Gunbird 1 and 2 delivers it. It's a fantastic package for anyone looking for a fun and charming dose of classic arcade action. Rage Racer 5 blasts onto the PS2 with a nitro fuel injection of pure racing adrenaline. Buckle up and hold tight as you drift throughout the stunning courses, pushing the limits of your vehicle's handling. The game's responsive controls makes every turn and overtake feel precise and satisfying. You will fill up the grip as you hug the corners and surge your power as you release your car's nitrous boost, leaving opponents in the dust. The game's soundtrack is a pulse-pounding mix of techno and electric electronic music that flawlessly complements the high octane action. As you drift through each corner, the music intensifies, further immersing you into the exhilarating race. Whether you are battling friends in spits clean multiplayer or tearing up the tracks in solo, Ridge Racer 5 is a fantastic racing experience that will keep coming back for more. I love this game and I would say it's a perfect utilization of the compact disc game. This concept of making 10 CD-based games on PlayStation 2 was quite challenging as I had to go through the entire library of CD-based games and you will be surprised that there are so many games out there, especially based on like a CD based on PlayStation 2. If you like this compilation, then check out my other videos and do participate in my live streams. Thank you so much for watching.